Okay, I think this will be like the most difficult rambling video to do. This video is about love, uh, being in love, just I guess being in love, yeah, right? And being loved. I talked about it a while back on Instagram. Um, one of my goals um, for 2015 was, if you saw the poster I made, it had a heart that had love, like it was a heart and it had God in the middle of it. And um, so there was that in terms of love. And then there was another part down on the left that had um, like a picture of a couple being in love. And in terms of the God thing, I think that this has been like the most year of love. For a long time, God and I would like, well, not God and I, right? Just me. But I would struggle with the love of God. Not necessarily the foundational belief that Christ died for me and all of that other stuff. I mean, like, you know how you know that, but then it's like, but do you love me? Are you like, fill in the blank. I, you know, I, I would often go to God and be like, are you just like this person? And just like, put a name there. You know what I mean? Like, because you seem like this person to me, God. Matter of fact, you treat me like this person treated me. And um, and I'm just wondering why, you know. And so, you know, I would get an answer. Or I'd get like the canned answer. Like God loves everybody or whatever have you. But just after a series of events, God really showed his love to me. Like, no, I'm, I'm serious. I love you. It's not like fill in the blank. Or... You know, it's not like this thing that you've experienced in your past. You know, I have always wanted to love you. And I've always wanted to give you my best for you. Not in comparison to somebody else or anything like that. But my best for you. And you have always kind of just been standoffish about it. So this year, I let the guard down. And I let God actually love me. And it was nothing like I thought it would be. I actually, it actually deepened my love for him. But <laughs> it actually built me up in a way that I, I don't even have the words to explain. You know, um, the Bible talks about how love is patient and kind. And it doesn't hold on to offenses. And there's a whole list of things that are love. That, that describe love. That, um... You know, when you're dealing with people, you may get some of those things and not all of those things, you know, and vice versa. When you're loving people, you may do some of those things, but not all of those things, um, because I think we're all fallible as humans. But God, in his infinite love and wisdom, um, he's he's infallible. And so I was able to experience that as a result, that couple thing that I wanted down at the bottom that, that idealistic um, relationship or whatever those expectations were, they totally disappeared. I don't, I can't even explain how that happened, but they just like totally disappeared. And as I continued to fall in love with God, he started putting people in my life that love me and showing me people who have always loved me, like I said in the video before, and who had loved me the way he wanted them to love me, you know, who were his human example of perfect love for me. And that was just like remarkable. I mean, it was remarkable. I was so blind before. Sorry about, sorry about that. My battery did something weird. But anyway, I was so blind before and so focused on like what I thought love was or what I thought love should look like. That I totally missed. Like what love really is. You know. Um, and honestly I can say. Uh, God has been patient. And kind. And he has been. You know just. Forgiving. And. The, the whole second chance thing. I mean. That's real like on, on a level. That I can't even explain. Um, 
And then the thing that he does to your heart, like on the inside, it just feels so good. Like I literally just lay in the bed and just like smile to myself, like, wow, you know, I'm so blessed. I, I'm so loved. You know what I mean? And when I get like a funny feeling or I get a feeling like, you know, or I guess when I struggle with myself and I say, well, I have this, I have this ideal of what love should be and you know I don't see that then he reminds me like he he cares enough to remind me of what love really is it's not the emotional fairy tale um that we have grown up to believe from either like tv or internet or I don't know movies or stars or whatever have you but it's something much more profound than that. And it's something so elementary um, that it's there's no words for it. <laughs> and there's no words for it. I think everything that I've experienced in terms of, oh, I love you. Um, I think that was infatuation. I really think it is. And anyway, in I guess because God loves me and is showing his love so much towards me and um is treating me you know so well I mean you know how you find these women who have been like kept by a man and they're like oh I'm a kept woman or is that am I dating myself with that phrase you know that basically means you know he protects me from danger he you know makes sure that people know that he loves me he, you know, does stuff for me. He takes me places. You know, he values my opinion. All that, you know, that means you're kept. I am a kept woman. Like, finally. I'm finally a kept woman. And anybody that comes within, like, a few feet or a few milliseconds or a few moments of causing me harm, he just makes sure that it doesn't happen. He just makes sure it doesn't happen. You know, and I don't know. It's amazing. It feels kind of like, okay, first off, it sounds weird to talk about God like that. I understand, which is why this is a rambling video. Um, but it's amazing to me. And then getting back to like the friends, all of the friends that are like really my friends, the amount of love that I've been getting from them is just ridiculous. I've never had... It was, it's so much that I don't even know what to do with it. And I know that it's heaven sent, you know, I don't even know what to do with that kind of love. I've, I've, I can say I've not experienced anything like this in my life, but also I've not, I've not let, let go the way that I am letting go now. You know, um, I think I am at, at a time in my life where I've done things my way for so long that I'm just like, you know what? It didn't work the way I was doing it. So I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to let go and let God do it instead of doing it myself. And whatever happens, happens. And like if something happens initially and I don't like it, then I'm like, did you see that, God? You know, I'm letting go. I'm not going to take control of this situation, but I'm just saying, did you see that? And it's handled like Olivia Pope handled. No, not Olivia Pope. <laughs> but it's so handled that I don't even have to worry about it. So it's amazing. So that's what I mean. Like I am in love and I am loved. I'm in love with God. He loves me. And then he has so many people around me that love me so much. I can actually see it now. And so it feels like favor. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like, after you've, I don't know, like this whole world works for money, fame, fortune, you know, things like that. But that type of love feels like a commodity that is untradeable. To have people that really care about you, like what you would say is perfect love. There's no fear in that, like, 
And only, and you say only God can have perfect love for you. Even only Jesus can have perfect love for you. But I'm telling you, he has put some people in my life that get pretty darn close. I feel like they have the anointing of love, you know? <laughs> and the Bible even talks about how people will know you by how you love one another. You know what I mean? And seriously, like as a believer, I don't even know what to say. There, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. I have, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. When I look back over my life, and I think about, and I think about love. It was always like, yeah, we love you, but and so I'm sort of in competition with you, but I'm not going to let you know I'm in competition with you. I'm just going to be passive aggressive towards you. So it was always something like little, like a little dig like that, like in all of the relationships that I had, like really close to me, they were like that. And as I said in the video before, I had those relationships close to me and the ones that were genuine, I had them far away and I don't even know why because they've always been there. That was just me trying to feel some kind of idealistic thing about what love is. But to have people around you that, that are happy for you and don't, that are not threatened by your gift or what God is doing in your life or uh, not secretly competing against you or not afraid to let you shine when it's your turn to shine. Uh, just stuff like that. It's just amazing and lately you know it's the season has been where I've been able to shine and I've had a lot of support from people who are the closest to me while I shine without them undermining me like behind my back or anything like that and I don't know maybe I've been maybe I'm a fool for surrounding myself with competitive folks <laughs> I don't even know how I got in a situation where I had surrounded myself with competitive folks. It just, I think it happens over time. It's not like you just go out and like, hey, are you going to compete with me in everything that I do? Are you going to like passive aggressively undermine me? Are you going to, you know, yeah, that's who I want you to be. My, I want you to be in my life. You have got to be close to me. No, I don't think it happens like that. I think over years of time it happens. And that's what happened. And God pulled me out. And he redeemed me. He dusted me off. He washed me off. He did it all. I mean, like, and the love is so miraculous that I don't even have the words to explain it. And he showed me his love through the scripture. Of course, I'll drop it down in the comment section below. But if you have any experience with what I've been talking about, or if, you, if God has brought you out of something like that, you know, just share it in the comment section below. I'm really encouraged by your comments. So, yes, I'm in love. And somebody's in love with me. Lots of somebody's, but God loves me. 